Leiden is a stunning historical city located in the province of South Holland in the Netherlands. It's known for its canals, cobblestone streets and typical Dutch architecture. It's home to the country's oldest university, played a significant role in the fight for Netherlands' independence from the Spaniards and many famous Dutch people are from Leiden, like for example Rembrandt and Armin van Buuren. In this video I'll be taking you guys around on a tour of Leiden and I'll be sharing some great ideas on what to to do when visiting. Hello everyone, my name is Janika. I am an expat from Finland living in the Netherlands and welcome to this video. This weekend's plan is to spend the weekend in Leiden. Leiden is what I believe to be one of the most beautiful cities in the Netherlands. I actually used to live in Leiden for three years but I realized that I've never made like a proper video about Leiden. I've made some videos, I've made one about the Saturday market, about King's Day here, about Leiden onset but I've never made like a proper what to do, what to see, where to go, where to eat kind of video from Leiden and as I've lived here I know this city very well and I know all the best spots so now I actually don't live in Leiden anymore but I decided to come to Leiden for this weekend for these coming two days I have planned what I believe to be the perfect itinerary for if you're planning on coming to Leiden and yeah I'm currently by the Leiden Central Station I must say the train station here is not the prettiest and also the area of the train station is not the prettiest but don't let that fool you when you arrive just walk a little bit forward when you arrive and it'll already become much much more beautiful for today's brunch spot we're actually going to a restaurant that's right next to the train station I'm gonna be meeting up with a friend who will be joining me for brunch let's go to that restaurant and get this weekend in Leiden started When entering Paco Chao, you might first be a little bit confused about where the entrance is until you realize that in order to enter, you need to walk through a closet first. all look so nice <laughs> this restaurant has a very unique and fun look to it making it a very popular spot so make sure to reserve a table in advance Next, I'm gonna visit this windmill here. It's a great place where to learn a little bit more about the Dutch culture. And if I remember correctly, the entrance shouldn't be very expensive. So let's go and check it out. Visiting this windmill museum is a great place for anyone who, well, wants to learn more about windmills. This windmill was built in 1743 and when visiting it, it feels like you get to travel back in time. On the first floor you get to see what the living quarters in a windmill used to look like and higher up learn about the milling and machinery itself. There is also a balcony where you get to admire some beautiful views over the city of Leiden. Do be prepared however that in order to visit you need to walk up and down some very steep stairs. If you 
want to do some shopping when in Leiden, there's one specific shopping street. Here you can find some quite typical shops such as Zara, Bershka, Pull&Bear, those kind of clothing stores. There's also different cafes and all kinds of shops. And uh, yeah, let's walk around a bit on this shopping street and I can share with you guys a few of my favorite shops that you can find here. And one of them is actually here right behind me. It's called Harlem Six. Did you know that the Dutch are some of the most enthusiastic users of peanut butter in the world and it is seen as a staple product in most Dutch households. On this shopping street you can find one of the establishments of the chain store called Pindakas, a shop that is completely dedicated to peanut butter. Here you can buy and try some very unique peanut butter flavors as well as buy peanut butter merch. Buying something from this shop could also be a great souvenir idea. This is one of my favorite little shops in Leiden. Everything they sell is handcrafted in Leiden by small local businesses. They also keep changing what and whose things they are selling on a regular basis. So on the shopping street you can find one of my absolute favorite spots here in Leiden and that is this little cat cafe that I have behind me. And I was originally planning to visit it during this weekend, but for some reason they are completely closed this week. And it's not even that it's fully booked, they're closed. But I have visited this cat cafe actually in another video. So if you are interested in seeing what this cafe looks like on the inside, I'll link the video up here. And if you're, I don't know, watching on TV or something and can't see the link on the screen, then you can search for July Diaries video. It's a really sweet place to visit if you're a cat lover like me. You can see See one of the cats here by the window at least. Oh, I wish I could go inside and pet it, but not this time, I'm afraid. Saturdays are the most busy days in Leiden, so if you want to come on a more peaceful day, then you should avoid ah, coming on a Saturday. On Saturdays, there's the Leiden Saturday Market which brings in a lot of people. It's a lovely market. I've actually made a separate video of that market if you're interested. And as we happen to be here today on a Saturday, let's go and check it out. subscriber Hello. she also has her own YouTube, I do channel. Have a YouTube channel what's the name uh, my name which is Carrie Lynn Jamila um, I'm still working on it but we'll get there <laughs> like we all are yes we are you're just going good I can't wait to see it yeah enjoy your I'm day excited. <laughs> thank you I just met a subscriber so that was really fun I can imagine my face looked really confused when I suddenly heard my name being called but yeah she was really lovely and I couldn't resist buying some strawberries they looked so damn good and now i'm gonna go and find a nice spot where to sit down and enjoy them and i'm actually just passing by the street that i used to live on so let me show you guys but yeah i used to actually live on this street here it's really nice because it's very central and i used to live in this apartment right here this is the gym i used to come to it's part of this chain called sport city but what's cool with this exact gym is that it's located inside of like excuse me 
<laughs> it's located inside of an old church. So it looks pretty cool from the inside. And as I used to live, the street I just showed is right there. I literally have like a hundred meters to the gym. So <laughs> it was perfect because I couldn't come up with excuses on why not to go. But for eating my strawberries now, I think let's go to this park right here. Okay, as I didn't bring a picnic felt and I don't really have anything to sit on and I'm wearing very, very light pants. Um, with my luck, if I, if I sit on the ground, I'm gonna sit on a piece of poop. So I decided to sit on the bench instead. Let's try out these Dutch strawberries. They looked too good to pass up on the opportunity. Strawberry cheers. Mmm. Oh my goodness. Wow. It's so sweet and juicy. So good. This park didn't actually always used to be a park. Before it was a residential area, but after an accidental gunpowder explosion in 1807 that resulted killing 150 people, it got transformed into a park instead, as this was the more affordable solution back then. Okay, I don't know why and how, but for some reason this cafe is closed. Why are all the cafes that I want to visit closed this weekend? I don't get it. This place is maybe also having a summer holiday break but look at this place it's so cute it's like located at the edge of this little park where we were sitting but yeah there's just something about this cafe that i really like it's so cozy We've now come to one of my favorite neighborhoods here in Leiden. It's known as the Peters Quartier. So it's basically the area surrounding the Peterskirk, so the Peters Church, and it is super beautiful. It is full of these cobblestone streets, little shops and restaurants. For the most parts, at least, cars are not allowed to drive here. So it is really nice and calm. Just in general, a very lovely neighborhood. I love it very much. I'm sitting on one of these little cobblestone walking streets here and it's super lovely. It's the perfect summer day today, I must say. The weather is very pleasant. It's like 22, 23 degrees, the sun is shining. It's not raining, it's not too hot, it's just perfect. Did you know that the famous artist Rembrandt was actually from Leiden? Most of his art can be found in Rijksmuseum in Amsterdam, probably a bunch of other spots too. But here in Leiden you can learn more about Rembrandt. There's this small studio you can visit that is dedicated to him, which we're just about to visit. Then there's also this place where his house where he was born and raised used to be, but unfortunately that was taken down because back then they didn't know he was about to become someone famous so that it didn't realize that that was a house that needed to be preserved but instead they've now made him a monument there let's now first visit the studio and then a little bit later today we'll be visiting the other spot that i mentioned This studio is free to visit and here you get to see a video about Rembrandt's early life and connection to Leiden, as well as learn about the studio itself, as it used to be where Rembrandt would attend art classes when he was younger. A lot has happened in this room where you are now. I don't think you've come especially for me though. Boy. If you're a big fan of Rembrandt, then you can also find some Rembrandt themed souvenirs to buy here.
Look at this, how cute. <laughs> Aww. Leiden is a very famous student city. I've just arrived to where like the main campus of the university is. We're soon about to enter. I'm not gonna go and study obviously, but here inside you can also find the botanical garden. The Botanical Garden of Leiden is one of my favorite spots in the city and I always recommend it to everyone who visits. It's the oldest botanical garden in all of the Netherlands and it was here that the first ever Dutch tulip was planted and grown. A fun thing is that if you're a student at Leiden University then it's free for you to visit this botanical garden whenever you want. Especially in the winter time. My favorite part about this botanical garden is this like tropical glass house. It is so nice to like for a small moment escape to somewhere where it feels like you're in the tropics. Feels like I'm back in the Amazon rainforest almost. This botanical garden is pretty big so you could easily spend several hours here especially if you would bring like a picnic blanket or maybe some drinks look at this so idyllic as all of Leiden is I would say if I would have to describe Leiden with one word it would be idyllic My visit to the botanical garden was lovely as always i love that place so much now next i'm gonna show you guys that rembrandt memorial place and the rembrandt bridge and that whole spot before then heading for dinner This is the place that I mentioned earlier where the house of Rembrandt used to be where he was born in 1606 and lived until 1631 which then unfortunately got torn down later on but today instead there's a nice little memorial in the honor of one of the most famous Dutch painters.
food at the ramen restaurant was as good as I remembered. It's really, really good. Highly recommend if you're a fan of ramen. What was funny when I went to pay, one of the chefs came up to me and he was like, by the way, did you do a ramen workshop with us once? And I was like, I did. So back in like February 2023, I did a ramen workshop at that place and I think they organized a few of them back then. I'm not sure if they're still doing that. But those ramen workshops were done in quite big groups of people. I think we were like, I don't know, maybe 15 people and they've had a few of them. So I was really surprised by the fact that they remembered me. And then the other chef also came up and he was like, yeah, I remember you too. The waitress told me like, yeah, apparently they had been discussing about it while I was eating and wondering like, is that her? Did she do that workshop? I don't know, somehow it made me happy that they were still able to remember my face after such a long time after I had only done like a workshop with them. Quite impressive. But yeah, I'm now heading towards what I believe will be the last spot of the day. There's this new like bar that apparently serves really good cocktails and stuff. And everyone's been telling me about how great it is. So I thought it's a Saturday night. Let's go and check it out. are starting day two in Leiden by having brunch at another one of my favorite restaurants it is just behind me here with Taru. You might remember her from some older videos, maybe. <laughs> just got our food, looks really good. The plan for now is to just walk around for a little bit because I honestly genuinely think that one of the best things you can do in Leiden is to just walk around and enjoy the beautiful sceneries. Like, look at this for example. back at the new Orion where we also came yesterday this is where the Saturday market was but it looks very different now without the market it's much less busy it's really pretty there's lots of restaurants and cafes that you can find here and lots of these restaurants and cafes have these like little boats by the kennel where you can sit which is super lovely and the bell is singing to one of my personal favorite cafes that are here by this new Rhine and this place also has its own little boat spot and yeah you can't complain about the view and I've been here a few times before and they have really nice pastries and also things like toasties and like breakfast slash lunch kind of food I just ate so I think I'm gonna have a small sweet treat for myself and maybe something to drink
for me personally, my favorite kind of cake is carrot cake for sure. What's your favorite? Next, I'm gonna show you guys the oldest part of Leiden and from where you also have quite a nice view over the city. This historic fortress is one of the city's oldest landmarks. It dates back to the 11th century, making it one of the oldest structures in all of Leiden. It's built on a man-made hill and used to serve as a defensive stronghold. Today, however, it's a cool little historical place that's free to visit and it offers a beautiful panoramic view over Leiden. And you can especially see the Hoaglandse Kirk from a very beautiful point of view from here. This is one of my favorite streets here in Leiden. It's right by the Hoaglandse Kirk. And there are all these like huge trees going along the street and really beautiful old Dutch classical houses. And right next to this street, we have another one of my favorite spots in Leiden. It's known as the Ode Rhein. It has this cool looking green old bridge. And yeah, it just looks so beautiful here by the canal with all the flowers and the houses. And there's usually a bunch of boats going by here. suddenly become a little bit more gray it shouldn't rain or anything but I do think this is the perfect time now to visit my inside activity that I have for today which is to visit one of the many great museums here in Leiden Museum Boerhave is the Netherlands' National Museum of Science and Medicine. And you can probably guess that in this museum you can learn about the scientific and medical history. This museum is fun to visit for the whole family. After a few days of lots of walking, it was nice to just sit down for a while and enjoy some beautiful views on a boat tour. There are several different boat companies in Leiden, but I found this company Boaches and Broaches to be a good one. What I like about them is that they always have a real guide instead of a pre-recorded audio guide. In Leiden, it's also possible to rent your own boat independently and go around with that in the city if you would prefer that instead. Leiden has the second most canals in all of the Netherlands 
Netherlands after Amsterdam, making it the perfect place to explore by boat. This boat tour is a lot of fun and you get to learn a lot about the city during it. Keep in mind that a lot of the bridges in Leiden are quite low, so you do need to crouch when going under some of these bridges. But to be honest, I find that it just adds to the experience of it and is also quite a fun part of the boat tour. tour was really nice it's the perfect way of seeing the city from another perspective also if you're maybe a bit tired from walking and just want to kind of sit down and relax and enjoy some views then this is the perfect way of doing that tonight i'm actually not having dinner by myself my boyfriend will, will soon join me to have dinner with me but i still have some time before he'll arrive as i do have some time to kill so to say and the weather is really nice let's go to one of my favorite terrace spots here in leiden i'm gonna go there and enjoy a drink before going then for dinner it's right over there the spot So here in Leiden it's a bit of a local joke that a lot of old historical buildings that used to have some very significant meaning have today been turned into restaurants and that's also the case with our dinner spot for tonight. We're going to be eating at the old city hall that today has been turned into an Italian restaurant. I've eaten here once before and it was a really nice spot and it's pretty cool to eat inside of an old city hall. They do seem to also have a very nice terrace. I've booked our table inside though, but let's see where we'll end up actually sitting. We ended up at this table that's technically inside, but we're right by this big open door so it kind of feels like we're also sitting outside so we got the best of the both worlds this way
For dessert we went and grabbed some gelato from our favorite little shop in Leiden and we came to sit by our favorite park in Leiden where to enjoy it and it's such a nice and beautiful summer evening and it's feeling very nostalgic. This is the first time we're back both in Leiden like together walking around after we moved from here. So yeah we walked by our old apartment and saw the grocery store we used to go to every day. Now we got ice cream from the place we used to always or gelato from the spot we always got it from and yeah feeling very nostalgic it's a nice way to end this day having this gelato here in the park we're gonna start heading towards the train station i've had such an amazing time spending this weekend in leiden and i hope you have enjoyed it as well i really tried to put quite a lot of effort in this video and show you around all the best spots i've visited so many places during this weekend leiden is definitely one of those cities that you shouldn't miss out on when in the netherlands if that wasn't already clear from watching this video if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and remember to also subscribe to my channel so you won't miss out on any future videos thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys again on my next adventure bye bye